My group is studying a very specialized group of white blood cells in our body called cytotoxic T cells or T killer cells. Those cells are responsible for clearing the virus and bacteria and damaged cells such as mutated cancer cells. We are particularly interested in why in some cases people develop severe illness after infection. More importantly, we want to generate some kind of therapeutic target to revert the T cell function to make them work again and to control the disease development. We heavily rely on advanced technologies available in the TIDU. By taking advantage of these state-of-art technologies, we are actually able to look into the uh, details of the functional defect in those cytotoxic T cells isolated from patients with a different disease outcome. So we can precisely look into these cells at a single cell level and also in tissues to really figure out which molecules, what pathways, and how they affect the immune cells. At the very beginning of the pandemic, started to study T cells, we identified immunodominant epitope region, which is the regions in the virus that very frequently targeted by uh, cytotoxic T cells. We published our first paper in Natural Immunology in the early 2020, and the paper has been cited over a thousand times now by the scientific community and the colleagues working on the same field, which I hope helped the overall understanding of our immunity to this dreadful virus. Over the past five or ten years, we developed a really nice pipeline to study cytotoxic T cells using multi-omic technology so we can look at cytotoxic T cells in tissue. We can link the, uh, the function of the T cells in the tissue with other macroenvironment and so we can have a much more comprehensive picture and to see the role of these cytotoxic T cells as well as how they interact with the other immune cells and the, say cancer cells or infected cells, how they work together to fight a virus. Creating a happy research environment is critical for research. Having all these people with the same passion for science and especially seeing all these young scientists flourish in this place is a great reward for us. I would say this is one of the best places in the world to study T-cell immunology.